This right here, standard King James Version. The Bible, you see. Real Bible. Got the Jesus in it. You know. But I want to talk to y'all today about divination in the Bible. Doom, doom, doom. They cast lots. Casting lots is divination. According, we're at um, Numbers 26, 56. According to the lot, shall the possession thereof be divided by many and few. That's one instance. I got all the pages marked out for y'all. And at Proverbs 16, 33, the lot is cast into the lap. But the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Divination is of the Lord. I'm going to keep going because I know you guys say that's the Old Testament. So I'm going to go into the New Testament and find more divination for you. All right, here we go. Into Luke chapter 1, verse 9. According to the custom of the priest's office, his lot was to burn incense. When he went into the temple of the Lord, which basically means they did divination and seeing what offering he need to make before he went into the temple. I'm not done yet. All right. Here we go again. New, some more New Testament. The book of Acts. That's chapter one. Verse 26. Acts chapter one. Is highlighted because that's where they specifically said lots. But what they're doing is doing using divination to see who would replace Judas. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. It's divination again in the Bible. They're doing readings. And now I tell y'all all, all the time. Your preacher might not tell you, but I tell you. And I tell y'all all the time, the Bible is a magical book. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are diversities of operations. But it is the same God which worketh all in all. All your spiritual powers come from the universe, creator, God, whatever you want to call it. All our spiritual powers come from the same place because we're all part of the universe. Everybody. For to one is given by the spirit the word of wisdom. To another the word of knowledge by the same spirit. The universe. We're all connected through the universe. To another... Faith by the same spirit. To another, the gift of healing by the same spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, divers kinds of tongue. To another, the interpretation of tongues. This is in your Christian Bible. We move over to chapter 14. Follow after charity and desire. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts. But rather that ye may prophesy. Even so ye for much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek, seek that ye may excel in edifying of the church. When it comes to readings, for ye may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn and all may be comforted. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. So, what you need to understand is we all have the ability 
We all have the ability. We all have spiritual power. You know, organized religion will tell you, you know, it's it's the devil and it's evil. But I just showed you in the Bible where it tells you to develop your spiritual powers. Develop your spiritual powers. I'm not done with this video. I got to edit it and hook it all together. I'm going to hook y'all up. I'm going to start teaching y'all some shit.